Well, Anis Qasim is a Palestinian expert on international law. He joins me now from Amman. Thanks so much for speaking to us. First, tell me how encouraged you are by the fact that this process at the ICC is now formally underway. I think this is the very uh, step that we have been waiting for the last three years, ever since the state of Palestine ratified the Rome St uh, Convention, uh, because in the previous period, the PA used to send reports to the uh, criminal court, which did not mean anything other than for the uh, uh, the uh, prosecutor to review. But the prosecutor was not under any legal constraint to reply to those reports. Only, only when a state refers, quote unquote, this is the password uh, for bringing uh, the matter to serious level. When a state refers the situation to the uh, prosecutor, then we okay. are serious about okay. looking against uh, 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 criminals who are prosecuting our people in the occupied territories. But the process we know will take years. So what is the best outcome possible for Palestinians here? And will Israelis respect a decision made by the ICC? It is not up to Israel to respect the decision or not. It is up to the Palestinians to really push for their claim. Uh, you cannot just put the file and leave. Uh, all, all political cases like our case before the ICC are uh, largely politically motivated uh, and they work in political environment. We have to push for it. We just cannot leave it and uh, key, uh, file it and leave. We have to work diligently to push for it. Unless we push for it, it might drag for an indefinite period of time. And that is the key issue in the next phase. We have to provide the prosecutor with hard evidence, with all evidence available, and also to keep monitoring the progress of the investigation. Okay, and then to what end? What ultimately do you want to see happen on the ground in the Palestinian territories via this process? Now, we have two levels. The level uh, of settlements, we have to bring to justice those uh, responsible for the planning and the implementation of uh, Israeli settlements. That is number one, because this is a daily crime committed continuously on a daily basis. The second one is to bring the military uh, uh, senior officers to justice, especially those responsible for killing and the prosecuting civilians in the occupied territories, especially of what we are watching for the last four or five weeks uh, in Gaza. Okay. Anis Qasim, unfortunately, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Amman.